Hello, Facebook friends. Uh, it's Maggie from Personal Euphoria with today's plank story. Now, this is a long one. It's a solid two minutes. So I would say do a plank for 90 seconds at most and then push back into a shell stretch or take a little break and then do a side plank on one side and then on the other side. Uh, I'll put the time on the clock, but adjust accordingly. This is one of my absolute favorite plank stories. We are started. So my grandfather was in the South Pacific during World War II. And when the sailors would get leave on these islands, they would create uh, baseball games or they would set up boxing rings. And so one day my grandfather got into the boxing ring. And now he was only five foot eight or five foot nine. And he was never much over 140. So certainly when he was 18, he was slight and a, and a small, small in stature. So he gets in this ring and this big man gets in the ring and my grandfather looks at the ref and says take the gloves off take the gloves off I'm not boxing him and the big man says to my grandfather that's all right kid we'll just have fun I'll go easy on you so they box round one and the guy's going easy on my grandfather but my grandfather decides oh this guy's all talk he looks big but he's not that good so my grandfather wails on the guy and at the end of round one, the man says to my grandfather, hey, kid, I thought we were taking it easy. Round two, my grandfather still thinks this guy's a joke, so he pounds on him, and the guy does take it easy on my grandfather. And after round two, this giant man says to my grandfather, hey, kid, you're all in, I'm all in. So my grandfather goes to the ref, take the gloves off, take the gloves off, and he does not box round three. You are now at a minute and a half. So flash forward, and my grandfather is out of the war. He's back home. He's in New York City with some friends at a bar. And the bartender says to them, hey, guys, we have heavyweight champion Ezard Charles in the back signing autographs. And my grandfather and his friends all go, we love Ezard Charles. And so they go in the back to get his autograph. And when my grandfather sees him, he says, were you on such and such island in 1943? And Ezard Charles picks my grandfather up in a bear hug, lifting him off the floor and says, were you that punk kid? And my grandfather always said he was so excited that he forgot to get Ezard Charles autograph, but it didn't matter because all his friends saw that he had boxed heavyweight champion Ezard Charles. So anyway, that is one of my most favorite plank stories. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, and I hope you keep moving.